Hey, how's it going everybody? I wanted to show you guys the two different ways that you can play Stadia on your TV. There's more ways than that, but I wanna show you just these two particular ways. Um, one is gonna be with the uh, Chromecast Ultra, and the other one is with the Chromecast with Google TV. Up to this point, I've preferred the Chromecast Ultra because you can uh, turn it on with your controller. So once you uh, configure your controller with the Ultra, you're, uh, as soon as you turn it on, it turns on your TV and it also turns on Stadia. So this one should be connected already. This is the Wasabi controller. So I'm gonna run that, that one first so I can show you. So as soon as I turn on the controller, you're gonna see that my TV is gonna go on. As you can see right there. And all I have to do is start, hit A. And there it is. Now I can scroll through and, uh, and select games. For that reason, the Chromecast Ultra was my favorite. Uh, it's the one that I preferred. The only problem that I have with the Ultra is that once in a while, while I'm playing, the screen will go black for a few seconds and will come back. So it's not terrible, it's manageable. Uh, but that was the original reason why I got the Google uh, TV version. But then that version, uh, you would have to go to the menu and then launch it. So this is what you were supposed to do before. And then I'm gonna link this controller and we'll see if it goes on with this controller. So right here you can see the HDMI switch that I have. This is the Ultra. And then this is the one with Google TV. Uh, this one right here, this one right here is a small PC that I have in the in the back somewhere right there. So I can play Stadia with that PC as well. Uh, it's just that I don't use it as much because it's like a regular PC. I can do that over in my desktop. So now I'm gonna switch it to the Google TV. So it's off, I'm gonna turn it on. And now it's on. And for me to play Stadia, I would have to launch the app first right here. So you can see right there, it shows you the games, some of the games that I've played. So I can launch the app. So now I'm gonna use this account. All right, so there it is. And then now I can look through the games, as you can see right here. All right, so before, for me to connect the controller, I would have to go up here, get the code. So that's what I'm gonna do this time. I'm gonna turn it off and turn it on. And I'll put the code. Uh, let's see if it works. Because it might connect with the uh, Ultra right now. And there it is. So it's connected to the Google TV now. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn off Stadia. Uh, so we don't wanna unlink, we have one to exit Stadia. Okay. And the controller went off. So I'm gonna turn off the TV. And now Papa Bear Gaming is saying that when I turn it on, it's gonna turn on the TV. So let's see if that works. Turn it on. I felt the shake. And is it gonna work? Because this controller is not connected to the Google TV uh, Chromecast Ultra. And the controller is registered and bam! Nice. And remember, I closed Stadia before. So now Stadia comes up. So now I think that I, this is gonna be my, my go-to, because remember the Chrome Ultra version goes black on my screen when I'm playing. So uh, I haven't had that experience with the Google TV version. So now that it turns on with this one, I don't feel like I need the Ultra version anymore. The only thing is that with the Ultra, I have an ethernet connector and I think it's plugged in. I think that's where my want ethernet port is connected to. So I'm gonna test it with Google TV and Wi-Fi. And if it gives me problems, then I either get the adapter for the ethernet or I just go back to the Ultra. So it's nice to have two options. It's actually three with that PC, but uh, the easiest way is just to have the controller connected to that. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.